Why, you guys? Yeah? Welcome to another episode of Living the God Life. And this time, I'm going to teach you how to hard boil an egg in a pot. Put an egg timer inside. Now, why don't we get started with this, huh? Let me tell you something. You guys are going to want to know this stuff. You're going to need to know this stuff. Because it's going to save your lives. And of course, I'm going to use whatever eggs I have left in my refrigerator. Oh, by the way, you're going to need to fill your pot full of water while you're doing this. So, just keep that in mind. Not that anybody cares, but who cares at this point? No one. Right? No one gives a fudge. What? You thought I was going to say fudge? It's, it's not going to be much at this point, but without, you know, it's just there. Yeah, it's just there. And by the way, it's also worth noting at this point that I happen to have an egg carton with only da -da -da -da! three eggs left. And I'm going to be using those eggs right now. And look, there goes the first one. And we got to position that. You know what? You got to I position my eggs very meticulously. When that egg timer's in there, I got to make sure that the eggs surround the egg timer. And that the egg timer's in the center and whatnot. But of course you already knew that, didn't you? Now, then, here's where things really start to get iffy up in this bitch. Now, here's the thing. And, and, and please, please, if you can, bear with me. Bear with me on this, okay? Bear with me. Please. Bear with me. Because I only have three of these left. Now, I can't guarantee you that... I'm going to end up, you know, just... Oh, by the way, I'm going to turn the oven on two notches below high because I can. In a way, it's going to catch just as easily and effortlessly as the one that came before or after it. But you already knew that, didn't you? It's just common sense. It's logic. It's all black and white, my friend. All black and white. Now, now, I know it's not going to mean a whole hell of a lot to you, but I happen to have at my disposal a container right there in the cupboard just beside the fucking oven. And you're going to find it out for yourself, and I'm going to make sure of it. And, oh, 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 by the way, by the way, it is worth noting that the same container I'm going to be using later on in this episode, and that's not a prediction, as Paul Heyman would say, that is a spoiler. You understand? Common logic will tell you that. Logic, people! Logic! Logic! And there I go with the container, and I'm going to get it for you. I'm going to get it for you right now. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look, look. Do you see that? That is a container. Yeah, yeah that which I'm holding in my right hand. Now my left, now my right. I'm going to put it to the side. By the way, it's, it's worth noting. I was going to name this web series Survivalism 101 for Complete Fucking Retards, but I decided against it. And went with the more favorable living the god life as it's far less offensive. Oh, by the way, look at my back! Oh, fuck that. I'm better than that. You understand? Seriously. Now, of course, when you're taking care of an oven and water tends to seep out, lift the pot! You understand? Common sense would tell you that. Common logic would tell you that. Reason 
would tell you that. And, and also, also, it's notable at this point that the camera that I'm using is probably not going to capture the sound initially, which is why I'm using software on my phone to ensure without question the inevitable fact in which the sound can be properly got. Gee, I wonder why, you ask me. Well, you don't have to look any further. So let me tell you now, this is going to get real dank in here. Yeah, it's going to get real dank. By the way, by the way, I'm, I'm probably, probably going to have to turn this damn thing up to high now because it's not producing the result that I need. And then I thought, is that thing still on? Nah, I don't know. Because it looks on to me because the stuff is getting a little red. Of course, but like I said earlier, when the water is seeping out of the pot and onto the stove, lift the pot up from time to time. Logic will tell you that. Anybody will tell you that. And you get off scot free every single time. Oh my god, it's so easy. What the fuck, man? It's so easy. Are you, I mean, you're kidding me? Honestly. You, you gotta learn this stuff if you're gonna survive in a world so fucked up. It's, it's just common sense. You understand? It's, 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 oh, by the way, I'm like, you see that? See that? That's, That's how you, you know, know it's on. The red link is flashing, right? The red button, if it's flashing and it's on, and it's bright as night. Oh, by the way, I'm going to turn on some coffee for you. Because I can, and I just have. And I'm checking it right now. Yeah. That shit's happening, all right. It's absolutely happening. Oh, yeah, man. You better believe it. You better believe it on your freaking life. And you know it, man. Yeah. yeah. You know it. And it, I mean, it's sizzling at this point, but I'm just going to try to keep a good handle on it. Because if you don't keep a good handle on it and you wait too long, the glass is going to shatter a coffee pot. You won't have a coffee pot anymore. So you'll have to use a fucking coffee cup instead. But you already knew that, did you? And, and that's for the Mr. Mr. Coffees of the world. You know, but, I mean, it, I mean logic would tell you that. It's common sense. It's all there. there. It's all there. Plains day. Plains day, my friend. Plains fucking day. Ass day. Ass is fucking nuts. Yes, it's fucking nuts. Is it? Yeah, we're just going to have fun with this whole thing, aren't we? Yeah, man. Got to keep that coffee pot in check, doesn't it? Right. I mean, give me a break. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. And I know that I'm shitting them all for right now, but it's not just a problem. It's a real life. I'll be back. I'm just kidding, man. I'm not going anywhere. You guys are gonna know this shit to survive because it is common sense. It is lo- it is second nature, man. It's second nature. You, you can't, you can't just, you can't get off of knowing this. Unless You've already known it before, and you can prove it in every aspect of your life. You just got to support that with that. Look at how nice that's looking so far, huh? Look at how nice that's looking. Now then, you talk about bullet and egg. Let me tell you something. It's going to take about 15 minutes to boil this egg, and I would say that it's been about eight or so already at this point. Considering I started around, I would say, I don't know, eight minutes ago. 
as of right now, eight minutes ago, or seven minutes ago, I forget. But let me just say this. Let me tell you this. I'm just going to tell you something right up. Just going to tell you straight up, because you know I'm not lying. I'm going to tell you this. When you're talking about boiling an egg, you got to make sure you do it right, because when the egg timer turns brown on the inside, you know that they're boiled and done. And at that point, all you have to do is cool them off in a container with water and frozen ice to make sure that they don't turn green, that the insides of them that are supposed to be yellow don't turn green. And let me, let me turn that up a bit. And that's why they call it green eggs and ham. Not that there's anything wrong with green eggs and ham. It's just... It would be better if the yolk were yellow instead of green, un unless you like yours green. Of course, that's not going to change the taste any, or if any, it's not going to make a significant or noticeable difference at this point. You understand? Because it's all about getting those things done. So it's about. And, and let me explain something to you now. You're going to need one of these. If you want to keep your stove clean, so that the damn burner doesn't sizzle to death and starts firing up itself. Because when the water, when some of the water, when droplets of water, when they go up out of the pot and onto the stove, that is what the washcloth is for, that's what the towel is for to clean it up. And of course you know to pick it up when the water is boiling over. And my enemy in the pot, but you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah, you already knew that. And don't you deny it either. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean this stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. It's clean up. It's clean that. That towel is good for a lot of things. You understand? It's good for so many freaking things you do stuff. Especially when it comes to cleaning soaps. Especially in cleaning soaps. You know what I'm saying? And just for the record, just in all seriousness, and I'm going to point this out to you now, and I know that what I'm about to say has been a mean for such and such a time, and I know that I'm probably going to be late to this particular party when I say it, but let me tell you something. And, and this goes out to all my family, too, because they've watched me change more than anybody else. So they understand. Because it's all about getting a pot clean. That's what it's about, my friends. That's what it's always been about, and you know it, and they know it, too. You know, come and think of it. I'd like to confess them to you all, in all seriousness. Yeah, it's just so bad, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? You understand that it's common sense. Use a washcloth to clean up the water and it goes out from the pot and onto the stove or onto the floor or whatever. That's what it's good for. That's what it's always been good for. You understand? And now that I think about it, and I think you will agree with me, it's not a thing, Mom. You know, I'll, if you want to go over and just get to 15 minutes or so of this video, and it's not a thing, Mom. It's a way out. But you already knew that, didn't you? See, I told you it was coming. I spoiled it to you. Like a boss. But you knew that from here to Kingdom Coffee. Yep, you knew. You've always known. From the day one to the day nine. And you know that just as well as anyone. I knew he'd come. Yeah. But look. Do you know how hard it is to come up with something so big, 
So sitting in the Sunday come on up, tell us all freaky freak, and just admit the truth. If you look at this video, you listen to someone like me, you know you're about it, right? And, and also for the record, I'd like to point out that this is my first time hard boiling an egg ever. And even someone like myself who does something for the first time and was taught how to do it so many times before knows how to do it and can prove it each and every time. Each and every time, all day, all day long. You understand? It's common sense, my friend. It's all over. Yeah. I'm a boss and what I do! Seriously? But you knew so good. You already knew that. So, the more you know, the better. Not that it's gonna mean anything at this point, but it's just worth pointing out. Just to hell with everything else, I mean, what more do you need to know? What more do you need to know? Come on! Give us all a break! For that kick cat bar. Let me all the pieces of that kick out. Yeah, we're flying. We're just about done here. Now, aren't we? Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Looks like we're just about done with this, huh? See, I figured it would take around 15 or 14 or so minutes or whatever the hell, right? Yeah. You, you probably, you probably don't remember me saying that, do you? Well, you do now! Cause I'll just say it! I just said it! That's right, man. And let me tell you something else. Here's, here's the deal. Here's the caveat. You know, as much as Say, and I'm just giving off an example here, as much as a raw scrub does as good to clean off a stove when water that's been boiling over the top of a pot comes onto it, it can also be a detriment if you don't use it properly. So that, in all seriousness, and by the way, I'm gonna make a really, really good pot of coffee, right? Am I not great at making pots of coffee or what? I mean, come on, man, you gotta give it to me. You gotta give it to me, come on, man. You gotta give it to me. Let me tell you something. I really don't give a fuck. But I do to help you out. Because it helps me just as much to help you. Remember, you people need to know about this to survive. And now I'm gonna turn this oven off because the eggs are obviously boiled. You can clearly see it in the egg timer because it's turned brown at this point. And here's what I'm gonna do. And, and, and here's, you're gonna need to, you're really gonna need to look at this with an open mind, an open heart, an open whatever the hell, right? Seriously, you need to know about this. Nobody else is going to teach you in a school except for God, Jesus Christ, death, faith, space, nature, and time, and myself. Let me tell you something. Seriously, because cause I'm, I'm going to... I want to explain something to you. If you don't want to end up like the doctor who got his own show canceled because he allowed a couple of kids to upstage him by creating a flea bag monkey face animal from a toilet. At the very least, you should be able to follow the steps that I'm giving you in this video. And by the way, I'm going to set the ice up and put it in the container, which doesn't have any eggs in it right yet, but it will sooner or later. Once you take a good look in the mirror and take a good look at the container as well. Albeit not at the same time. And, and here's the, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. 
This is probably the most damning thing of her. When you consider the fact that I do this series to help you out, when you take that into consideration, you gotta understand facts. If you don't understand facts, you will never, ever, 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 ever make it. Whatever! That's what half of you are saying right now, but it's not gonna make it down at this point now, is it? Let me tell you something. Putting this ice in a container helps the boiled eggs cool quite a lot. You understand? It's all there, man. Just, 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 just. Fucking look! Look! I mean, that is common sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And you know what? We're probably gonna have to either use an oven lid or a ladle, so I'm gonna try both of these and see which one works better. Because, let me tell you something. Normally, people use a ladle the first time around and then an oven lid. I'm the opposite of that. So I use the oven lid first. See? See? Uh, uh, uh. Get in there. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. There we go. Let's put that in the freaking container now. Okay, let's just put that in the container. Yeah, now let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get that second one. Let's get that second. Uh-oh. Bro. Uh, the damn oven is messing right between it. And yeah, I'm not like most people. I clean things with my shirt. But shirts are more absorbent than towels if you're wearing the right one. In this case, let's just say that I'm wearing the right one. Yeah, let's get a ladle now. I'm, I'm gonna grab what cities, put them in the container. Cause you have to, you have to pour the water out of there first out of ladle. Before you put it in the container. That way you're not making a fucking mess on the floor, otherwise I'll beat the shit out of you. I'm just kidding. But let me, but in all seriousness though, you need to just take a good freaking look. You need to take a look, my friend. You need to take a look. Because it's all there. It's all black and white. Yeah, man. And I use this ladle to put an egg in a container with a shit ton of freaking ice cubes in it. And they're not really ice cubes as much as they're ice rectangles. Because that's what they look like to me, they're ice rectangles. They're ice trapezoids, they're ice parallelograms. They're ice polygons, whatever the hell they are. It's just, it doesn't mean much at this point, but you already get it, so it's good, right? You gotta get the going when it's good, right? Get going when the going's good. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna make it. By the way, just a couple more of those handfuls of ice rectangles for good measure. You didn't know that they look like ice rectangles, even though they're called ice cubes, right? Well, now you know. The more you know! Well, you already understood that from day one, didn't you? Yeah. You fuckers already knew that. I don't even have to explain it to you because it's all self-explanatory. And by the way, I'm going to wait an hour to make sure that these ice cubes have cooled down the eggs enough, the hard-boiled eggs, which I've just now boiled, and the egg timer is bound and, I mean, I'll let you see it for yourself. I'll let you see it. I mean, seriously. It is freaking brown. It is brown. As brown as a shit turd in a toilet bowl. Yeah. No top brown on this, and you can see it for yourself, too. In fact, you may already have. Seriously, no, look. 
But anyway, I'm not going to make you wait an hour. I'm going to wait an hour. You're not. So we'll just fast forward an hour and get this shit over with and done. Because common sense, because reasons, right? But you already knew that. Let's just move on with this shit. Let's move on. Because, because, like I said, I'm not going to make you wait an hour. I will, but you won't. We'll just skip ahead an hour, right? And I'll be the one that does the waiting. You don't have to do a thing. You get it? suck eggs for the rest of your